Welcome to our fourth uh, virtual back and forth to try to make sense of, uh, of 2020. Uh, people ask, is God to blame for the COVID-19 uh, pandemic? Um, it's such an important question and I want to tread carefully. May I ask, first of all, uh, whether you believe that God uh, exists? Uh, think for a second. Uh, do you? Yeah, if you answer no, it's, it's a non-question. There, there are no questions or, or answers or, or, or meaning. There's no one to blame. This is it. But if you answer yes, well, can I ask how have you treated the God that we say exists? Uh, honestly. I know how I've treated him. I've, I've taken his generous gifts of food and fun and friends and family. But I've said to the giver, you know, I don't want you. You know, you stay on the edge of, of my life. I, imagine that I treated my, my wife like that. I said, you know, keep the food coming, but you stay in the other room. You'd say that I was using her and, uh, and you'd be right. So it doesn't sit well to say that God exists, to ignore him when times are good and, and as soon as times are bad to turn on him and to blame him. So what about if we start in a different place w with us? Suppose that what I said uh, in a previous episode about a personal creator is true. What if something has gone badly wrong between us and God? It, it would explain a lot. Well, the Bible says that that's what happened. Uh, God created a, a good world of no suffering. He, he loves us and he made us for a beautiful relationship with him. But we've broken that relationship and our independence from God has turned us in selfishness upon ourselves and it has tainted everything. Uh, that explains why the, the planet is fractured and groaning. And it explains us too. You know, we're capable of great good and terrible evil, made in God's image and, and yet fallen. And all of this seems to fit with our sense that something is wrong, that, that things should be different. And so we appeal for justice. We long for things to be put right, and, and God does too. He's a landlord who's rightly upset, angry at the tenants who've trashed his good world. What if he's set a day f of justice for, for all that's wrong, for the ways that we hurt and mistreat each other, for the consequences of our independence from him? What if he's sad at the, the judgment that must fall to set things right? But what if he loves us enough to warn us so that we could be ready for that good but fearsome day? The Bible says that that's what he does, that he uses, uh, even brings uh, hard things, not delighting in them, to, to get our attention, to show us that we're not in control and to wake us up. Is God to blame? Well, there's a bit more to it than that. After all, we're the ones who chose to push him out. In one of the eyewitness accounts of the life of Jesus, like uh, this one, this is John's Gospel in, in the Word one-to-one -one format, Jesus was asked about a disaster in his day. And he said that we need to turn back to God uh, while we still can. Next time, we'll see why we can still trust God and be sure of his love.